So we finally get to see Carlos King. Um, he's one of the executive producers of the show, um, along with Todd Tucker. And um, so I thought that him as a host, I thought that um, it kind of made sense because he knows the girls, you know, he picked the girls. So, hey, why not? But um, apparently um, he's been knowing Lisa Wu, um, formerly Lisa Wu Hartwell, while she let that good man go anyway. Um, of, of He was on the Atlanta Housewives. I guess he was working on there, so he knew Lisa. And, and yeah, the only thing... Um, it seemed like he he was kind of biased towards Lisa because he knew her. Um, that it seemed like he was a little bit more um, on her side. But then again, maybe he was just for what was right because, you know, kind of for most part of the season, you know, Lisa was kind of bashed or whatever by um, Bronze and by um, Elisa and the 31 Flavors of Irrelevant. So, you know, hey, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, the outfits. Um... <clears throat> Countess had on a nice dress. Good for Countess. Um, Paula had on this ball gown, child. It was life. I, I thought Paula looked great. Yes, you know, you can't do anything about the gaps in her teeth, though. It's just, there's nothing to do about that. Um, Gold didn't look interesting. Um, it, was, it was all right. I did it. I did like her hair though, and her makeup was beautiful. She was on point. At least had the gold hair. Um, like Carlos said, she was serving Beyonce, me, myself, and I. I definitely saw that. Who else? Lisa Wu. She got it right. She, you know, she finally got a outfit that works, and and she turned her. She had this turquoise dress. It was beautiful. Oh yeah, all the looks. Anyway. So, um, he asked, uh, Countess, how much weight did she lose from the lipo? Um, sister girl said about five pounds. And me and Bronze had the same damn look. You know, me and Unicorn, me and Golden. Like, what the, five, you went through a full body lipo, you just lost five pounds? No, ma'am. Unacceptable. A waste of money. But hey, maybe she just had the surgery. I don't damn know. All right. So um, they start getting into the whole reality thing, um, you know, with Lisa and stuff. And, you know, it was like, how do you feel about, you know, being a part of a reality show? Golden was like, you know, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it. I've never watched a reality show in my life, which I find hard to believe. But okay, whatever. She says that she never watched a reality show. Um, and, you know, what did they talk about? They talked about the stupid ass Instagram thing that Lisa brought up. You know, Lisa's like, look, um, your friend, Carlos King, the one of the producers, also the host, of course, he was like, um, he calls you Blasian or whatever. It's a joke. Why do you care about Instagram? And Lisa said some shit about she wasn't following him or you know, or whatever. Um, Lisa was like, "The look, this is this is not scripted. This is a show about reality." Um, Golden was like, "No, this is a show about actresses, sweetheart. This is a show about actresses, sweetheart." And it was just like, "Oh, okay, really, nigga?" It was like, "Yes, it is." And um, it was just like, "Look, well." Um, since the show, they asked Golden if she got some work done since the show. She was like, well, since the show, I landed this, you know, like international Super Bowl commercial or whatever she said. And so, um, Countess was like, mm-hmm, look at you from a reality show, uh-huh. Apparently, Hollywood is, you know, knocking back on Paula's door. I don't really know. Let me stop. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what for, but... Hey, you know, if everybody's getting interested back in the girls, then, you know, hey, you got to do what you got to do to survive, right? It's hard for us black women. Yes, God. So, um, they get into Paula and it was like, you know, how do you feel about everything and you being blackballed and this and that? 
and 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 just being on a reality show period well she was like as far as being on a reality show i am honestly thankful i have a home you know my kid is doing well in school you know thank god for reality television because you know it got me out of my situation she started getting emotional and all that so um that asked her about the whole black ball thing and i'm so glad that this question was asked because it made absolutely no sense to me like i just didn't i was like what like why do people care about who you messing with but okay we but we got the true t now the true t is this so paula was like look this is what happened i walked in on my boyfriend who was in charge of the film or the move or the you know in charge of the movie or the short film or whatever that they was doing and and she basically walked in on him in the act in the trailer doing something with a woman and so she was she decided to fight fire with fire um so she was like look what i did i saw the little pa person i was like hey pa which was forest fires it was like hey pa hey pa mm, mm, you know and I'm truly proud. What's your name? And, you know, basically they started messing around. And pretty much she was, like, parading it around. Everybody knew about it. Her boyfriend got mad and um, basically made some phone calls and got her ass kicked off set. And um, apparently some of his friends and some of the people she thought was friends with her, I guess they took his side, not knowing that her boyfriend was cheating on her. And, you know, that you know y'all know the, the outcome of that whole thing. So she was like, but now, you know, some people have, have reached out to her and called her. And But honestly, I wouldn't be, want to be bothered with those people. Like, if, if those are the people that was against you then, why would you want to be bothered with them now? You know? Especially if, if these are the people that was close around you that, that, well, hey, maybe they don't know this whole story. But I'm glad they cleared that up. Cleared that up. Um, already. Um, Elise starts, Elise was actually on set as well. And Paula was like, yeah, you know what? I just be bullshitting sometimes, you know, I, you know, I'm, just, you know, sometimes, you know, so, I, you know, I just be tripping, you know, Elise, you know, she be supporting me and stuff. I mean, you know, she actually pulled me off the side. She was like, baby girl, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? You know, what you doing? Get your gaps. What you doing? Like, what's going on? It was just like, um, but Paula didn't listen. She was too deep in love. And Elise was like, didn't nobody care? You know, this is why Elise said at the beginning of, of, of episode one, you know, when nobody really would really have cared who you would have been with, but it was just the way that you did it. You know, your man in charge of this film and, and you cheating on him and you look the one looking like the Jezebel at the end of the day. And plus it's going to be a double standard, you know, because men can do whatever, but women you know, necessarily can't without being called a name, you know, so, yeah, it's moments. So, um, they asked Lisa why she lost her kids, and she was like, you know, more money, you know, uh, had more influence on them, and, you know, that's pretty much why she lost her kids. Somebody had said that she lost the kids because she was on drugs. Who the hell said that? I didn't believe that for five minutes. And so she started crying and getting emotional, um, so, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, cigars. All right, we're going to move on. Um, they get into Golden's part. Like I said, she never watched a reality show. I don't believe that. Um, she was like, her story is, you know, very relatable because, you know, she's that one, she's that single parent. She's that, she's the bus driver. She's, um, you know, woman who takes out the trash she's every woman basically and she's she golden brooks wants you to know that she's just like you well golden we want you to know that you don't necessarily come off as relatable as, as you may think as you may want us to think you know you didn't really come off as that this season sweetheart sorry about it you came off as mean and hateful and shady it was funny sometimes but you know I mean, it is what it is, but once she, you know, actually talks and explains everything, it, it makes sense, you know. That golden, she just needs a hug and a man. That's all. 
um, they get into the whole uh, light skin, dark skin thing. Golden's mother is very light skin, and she was like, um, she had issues growing up because she didn't look like her hero, which was her mother. And um, she she didn't felt she didn't feel beautiful. Her mama tried, you know, to you know make her feel beautiful by calling her, you know, little certain names. You my little chocolate drop, my little penny and stuff. And she, I know, right? Who the hell wants to be a, a penny? That's one cent. Damn, you ain't worth a damn, child. No, she was like, no, I want to be gray. You know, all right. If I can't be light skin, I want to be green. I know that's right, child. Benjamin's on deck. Um, but she was like, she's trying to, you know, cause her, her daughter's dark skin and she was like, she's trying to, um, make sure her daughter doesn't grow up with complexes and, and all that and just don't see color and all that, but she can't help not see color unless she colorblind. So, you know, but you know, so it's, 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 it's a lot of things that we face in our community. It It, it is, um, definitely here, definitely. And then some people definitely still thinks that um one one color is over the next in the black community that's absolutely ludicrous grow up get you a life find jesus and just educate yourself how about that um all right we all shit the same way we just use different toilet paper all right so Elise done been around. That old ice cream cone done been around. You hear me? Child, she done messed with, um, what is his name? F. Carrie Kennedy or some shit. I don't even know who he is. I ain't feel like Googling him. Um, Rick Ross, the boss. And, um, 50 Cent, find me in the club. And, um, they played Shag, Mary Kill. She said she was Shag Rick Ross. Interesting. A lot of body said that she would um marry the JF is it, it's not JF Kennedy it's F Gary or something like that Kennedy something like that because they was engaged or whatever but she would like she would kill Fifty Cent mm. I'm sure you and Vivica would too um sweetheart oh poor thing what does Viv what does Fifty be doing to the grounds um. They get into this whole tired ass 10 year, 12 year, 20 year story of Paula. They was like, look, Paula is just crazy sometimes. She got holes in her story. She got holes in her teeth. She got holes in her dress most of the time. Like, don't nobody pay all crazy Paula no attention. It was like, she full of it. What is it? Shit. Like, child by, um, you know, about the whole throwing drinks. And according to Paula, Maya walked by first. Maya Wilkes, a.k.a. Golden. And she threw a drink. And then, you know, all of a sudden, you know, Bala was dancing and having fun. All of a sudden, she see all a line of women throwing drinks on her. It just makes no sense. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Golden was like, look, you um, fucking around with that little pharmaceutical angel. And, you know, build, uh, that crazy-ass Paula gets up. And she's just like, yes, I got a card for my pharmaceutical and this and child. Yeah, we know y'all gets it in, you and Forest Fires. Child. Who's going to put out the smoke? Don't know. Allegedly. All right. Um. So, all of a sudden, damn, Forest ass gets up to explain his nice white suit. He gets up and, and explains what he saw. He was like, he didn't see you know, nobody threw drinks on Paula because he was at the bar getting the drinks and other things. And so he didn't see that. And he was like, he just came back, but he did see like a line of women or whatever. And Maya was like, this is absolutely ridiculous, which I agree. I agree with you, Golden. It, bronze, whatever, a unicorn. It is absolutely ridiculous. Like who gives two pints of hen piss about what really happened? And um, when and Maya start talking, Forrest all of a sudden says, you know what? You need to be quiet when a man is talking. When I say golden, she I think that she was in shock for a second. I think the whole audience was. And she was just like, wait a minute. Like, you check Paula. 
You don't check me, okay? I know that she squashes your ego every single day, but you're not going to goddamn check me, okay? You do that to your wife. I'm not your wife, all right? Check that, boo-boo. I was like, yes, yeah, that one number Maya. It straight came out of her. Golden was heated. She had to walk backstage in her little prom outfit. It was tragic. But damn, they was on some then because Forrest, you know, as soon as Maya walked off and as soon as he saw that uh, Maya was clearly upset, he started grinning. Just crazy. And Paula was like, she's just in there. Child. It's a beautiful thing. And it's a powerful thing. All right. That was a Hollywood Divas um, reunion part one, y'all. I actually enjoyed it. It was entertaining. It held my attention. And that's what's important. Uh, for the most part, everybody looked good. Um, Yeah, everybody s spoke with a clear mind. Mm, minus a few. Paula. And so, yeah. It was fun. That was it. I'm Mr. Chilaki. I'm Mr. Chilaki on Google Plus. Follow me at It's King's World on Twitter. Uh, Chase King was here on Facebook. All right. Like, tweet, reshare all those moments. Love you. Bye. Yes. Happy holidays.